Ah, that was a cold ride. Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be hot tent camping out here. Found a nice little spot by these pines here. So set up the hot tent somewhere in here. Probably have an outdoor fire. Um, for the afternoon here it's pretty nice out yet so it's not real cold it's about 25 degrees and uh, yeah we'll get some firewood and gonna have a good dinner tonight so I'm excited to be out All right, well that should be a big enough spot for the hot tent, so it's fairly level. I think that'll work good. I'm gonna just leave this open for now. It'll let some of the condensation out as some of that snow melts in there and I can close it tonight if I get cold. Or if it starts getting windy, I can close that up. Just like that. I usually keep some gloves in here. They're actually the cut resistant gloves, but I don't really use them. I just use it to protect the glass piece here so it's not rattling around as uh, going down the trail. And just pop these sides in. Takes a little bit to get them lined up sometimes. There we go. Open up them tabs. That. And the chimney goes towards the back. And fold the legs. And that's the stove. Chimney can be a little tricky. A lot of people don't like them, but. Once you do a good burn in on them, they work pretty well. Just usually roll it out. Something like that. Bringing this 
start feeding rings on. I usually have the rings a little closer together for the portion that's inside the tent just because it seems to help seal it up better. It's not quite as important up towards the top that sticks out. All right, so for my sleep system, I have a surplus uh, military, it's like a Gore-Tec bivy. And I like to use this because it just keeps the moisture off my sleeping bag and everything and keeps it warm. So it's almost pretty much completely waterproof. So I usually just lay this down and then I'll put my sleeping pad inside it along with my sleeping bag. And that's usually enough. I've stayed down to about negative 10 with this same setup and have slept fine. So. Also just keeps your stuff clean. I don't really care if this gets dirty. Um, I just don't like my sleeping bag getting all wet and muddy and stuff. Yeah, I usually just lay that down. And then I have the XPED 7R sleeping pad and it's actually got down inside of it it's a 7r value and it's uh it's like my favorite sleeping pad it's a little bulky you know it's bigger than an algene bottle probably close to twice the size of an algene but i mean the extra warmth is crazy so once you unroll it it actually almost starts like inflating a little bit just because all that down's expanding but it just has an in and out and then this little toggle you can adjust fine-tune your air pressure in there so that works pretty well yeah usually you just lay that out inflate this up comes with the pump sack you could also kind of use this as a dry bag it's got closure up top and then uh it seals at the bottom here with this plug. And then I usually just give it one good breath. Kind of roll it over a little bit. thought about using like an electric to make those little electric pumps that are also like a lantern I thought about trying one I just I don't know how good the batteries hold up in the cold so I don't really want to come out here with just that and not have it work at least the pumps half I know it'll work got the pad in there and then I usually just uh, get my sleeping bag out so it can start lofting This is actually just a cheap sleeping bag, hike and bike. I think it was like less than 150 bucks on sale. And it actually works pretty good in the winter. I mean, the zippers and stuff aren't the best on it, but I kind of abused my stuff out here anyway, so. But it's rated to zero, but that's definitely not the comfort rating.
Yeah. And I just got a Nemo pillow. It's air, but it's got like a little bit of cushioning to it. It's probably one of my favorite. Pretty easy to use. Stick down here. And I can just kind of zip everything up. And then I got my sleep system. That's nice. Whew. Could take a nap right now. All right, time to go get some firewood. And at least I can make some tea and have dinner going eventually here. I did bring a book. I'm not sure if I'll have time to read, but I'd really like to start reading some more. Let me know in the comments if you guys like to read books while you're out and about in the woods. I think it just gives your mind something to think about, you know. Oh, it's definitely nice getting away though. Alright, firewood! tip for you guys when you're cutting up a bunch of firewood, small stuff like this, you can uh, move the log and the saw at the same time and it almost doubles your speed of cutting. It takes a little bit to get used to but then you can go through wood pretty quick. And when your piece gets short and hard to saw, I usually just kind of put my boot in there, pinch it with my knees, and then I can just go like this. You don't need to press very hard. If your boot doesn't fit in here, you can also use like a 
stick and step down like that and then I'll hold it in there pretty good. Got a little bit of onion, some garlic, and some ginger. And I'll just kind of caramelize those in the pan.
little bit of sesame oil. And last but not least, a little broccoli beef sauce. Top it off with a little bit of sesame seeds. Oh yeah, that looks gourmet. Mm -mm. Smells good. I underestimated how quick it gets dark. I was cutting firewood and I'm like, man, it's getting dark quick. So I probably could have started a little sooner. But let's give this a try. Go for a piece of steak here. Steak's good. Broccoli's pretty good. How about the mushrooms? Oh yeah, mushrooms are good. No for the noodles. It's pretty good. I'm gonna eat this and probably burn up the little bit of bigger wood I have for out here. It's one thing about camping in the winter, there's a lot of dark, so. It's dark about five o'clock now here, so that leaves uh, quite a bit of time for night activities. I'll figure something out. I think it's time to take this party inside. Fire's just about dead. And uh, yeah, go get set up in the hot tent. I'm all set up in the hot tent now. The stove's gone good. It's warming up in here quite a bit. Uh, I'll probably read some more and ponder life for a while and go to bed. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. 
and we'll probably see you in the morning. Good morning. Just getting some water going here. Gonna have some oatmeal. Got the new Kodiak uh, protein oatmeal. Maple brown sugar, of course. Gonna have some green tea pomegranate. For breakfast and pack up and head back home. It was nice last night. Didn't even get cold. I actually uh, woke up a couple times and had to open up the sleeping bag a little bit because I was starting to sweat. So, definitely warm. Oops, lost my tea bag there. Still hot, but it's good. Try the tea. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if I'm a pomegranate tea person. <laughs> I don't know if I like that that much. It's kind of starting to snow like sleet kind of outside. It's kind of wet. That'll make for a fun ride home. These uh, nail stakes work pretty good in frozen ground, unless it's like really frozen, but then I usually use like a screw. But yeah, I like these for winter camping. They're heavy, obviously I got the four wheeler, but if I was backpacking, I'd probably use something a little different.
Well, that pretty much wraps up uh, this trip. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and please hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments section below and I'll see you in the next one.